The North Sydney under 21 Pueverton Grey side entered their fourth game against Sydney in much need of a win. And Michael Burge got the side off to an ideal start, dispatching one of the first deliveries to the boundary, yet couldn't repeat it that his next ball and was caught at mid on. Jordan Peacock made his way to the crease at three for not many and made a well composed 49, manoeuvring the ball nicely. He played some exceptional cover drives in his 49 to get the side to 170. Yet needing early wickets, Nick Bills struggled for line and length, yet took the opening wicket and Arjun Bagger came on and took three for 14. The North Sydney spinners came on through the middle and took quick wickets for not many runs. Jake Lintock taking three wickets and Will Dempsey two. The North Sydney under 21 side ended up winning the game by 100 runs, taking a bonus point. With Arjun Bagger, today's man of the match. Arjun, well, congratulations. First couple of overs maybe we, um, could have been a bit tighter with our bowling, but um, it was good to get an early wicket. Bilzi um, bowled their opener, which was good. And uh, after that, we were able to apply a lot of pressure on um, the guy who came in next. And, you know, we put the squeeze on them and ended up taking a lot of wickets for not many runs. Yeah, it so it's important good. that we, um, I think we have Hawkesbury next. So if we can get three and two against them, um, that would be great and hopefully cement a spot in the finals um, the round after. So, you know, the team started to really gel together well, which is good. Justin Rodgy for North Sydney TV, one of the stars from today's PG's game. How do you think you went today? Uh, not too bad. I'm, uh, I didn't make a contribution with the, with the Willow today, unfortunately, but um, I think the, that steady line and length got us places towards a good position today. How do you think you uh, progressed with the ball? There's uh, talk that you sort of bowled a Vince O'Donnell line and length. Um, is that what you try to do in a game? Oh, mate, to be honest, hopefully I'm a bit quicker than O'Donnell in his heyday. But um, basically, I'm thinking more the, the Glenn McGrath, Trent Copeland kind of role. Um, except with a bit more bounce, a bit, bit more hype. It's going around lately that uh, some of your Greenwood form has also not been quite up to scratch, kind of like your batting. Can you uh, fill us in on some of the issues that have been you've been facing at Greenwood lately? Mate, it's a bit like a global economic issue, mate. Basically, um, some young lady thought it, took it upon herself to um, clock me uh, at the esteemed Greenwood Hotel. All I wanted to do was buy my Best of luck for the rest of the season. No worries, mate. Uh, best of luck to yourself. Hopefully uh, you put the ball outside off stump. Welcome to this week's edition of Bears TV. We're up to round six at the moment against Parramatta. North Sydney hold ninth on the table at the moment for a very important round, which has been reduced to a 50-50. We're going to cross over to Christy Doran and Phil Marks for a quick word on this week's round. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bears TV. Joined by former New South Wales player Phil Marks. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. Phil, big round this weekend against Parramatta. What have you been telling the players to, uh, for this week in their preparation? Well, it's pretty much consolidating on what we've already achieved so far. I thought we were going pretty well. We're ninth in the club championship. First grade are travelling particularly well. Seconds are struggling a little bit, so we've got a bit of work to do there. Uh, thirds and fours are in the hunt. Fours are in the top six, and fives have just had the one win from the five starts. But um, you know we've been historically a bit slow before Christmas, um, so we'll uh, we'll regroup and hopefully get get off to a good start this weekend and one round before Christmas and then into the new year. North Sydney last year came second on the club championship uh, behind Randwick Petersham. What are you going to be doing to address for the side going forward this year? Look, I think that was a phenomenal season last year. Coming second in any club champion, any. Um, any sport at that level is, is a great achievement. To replicate it's difficult because your cattle changes from season to season but look, it's a, we've proved that we, we're capable of doing it. If we can replicate that, go one better, be great but um, you know, as always you know, there's movements during the off season so we aim for top six um, you know, if we achieve that, fantastic uh, if we go beyond that, well then we've done well again Phil Marks, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll be back soon on North Sydney TV. Cheers. Bye bye